Welcome to the Kill Shot Tournament Season 1, and this is going to be Game 3 between these two epic Platinum and Silver players. But first off, let me say, I'm Longshot. And I am Kaleido. Yes, and we are going to be bringing you this epic matchup between E-Rock spawning on the east side of uh, this map, MLG uh, Metalopolis, and his opponent is going to be Dwango. They're both going to be spawning as Terran. And, you know, we first off want to give a big thanks to our sponsors. That's right, you know, Nerd Reactor has been a great contributor to this tournament, uh, giving us that Jim Rayner uh, figurine. So, thank you for that. And, you know, definitely check out their website. It's uh, nerdreactor.com. So, let's get this match started, right? Absolutely. I mean, we really can't thank them enough. You know, we went from being a, a lowly tournament with very little to offer our players besides bragging rights to actually having some pretty awesome stuff. So I'm very, very thankful for that. Yeah, big ups to them. So, But we are going to be seeing these players are spawning again, uh, close air, on Metalopolis, which the distance is even shorter than on Shattered Temple. And we're going to see both of these players. If you look at the rally points on their SCVs, they want to scout this first. They're going to go right to see if close air is happening once again. And much to their dismay, they're going to find out they are very much in close positions. Yeah, and you know, but it's since Dwango took that game too, man, like, e has got to be, you know, I fearful of drops now. I mean, he really just took that game away from e dropping in his main base, you know, and he even did that in game one but failed because it was just, it just, the drops just came too late. But now, you know, Dwango's got E-Rock up against the ropes. He's going to be putting some sort of pressure on him. You know, I just can't imagine how E-Rock feels right now being beaten by a silver player. Exactly. I can't imagine what's going through E-Rock's head right now. You probably thought this would be a very, very easy match for him. He would have an easy ride into the top eight. And now, all of a sudden, you can even see he's getting a little flustered because he hasn't put guys in gas yet, despite his refinery finishing a few seconds ago. Uh, he's got to be a little shaken here. He's got to be wondering, like... I'm, am I really going to have to work this hard to get past this match? And the answer is yes, you always have to work your hardest in StarCraft because anything can happen and it can go horribly wrong at any second. Yeah, it, StarCraft is just one of those games that, you know, anybody can really throw just some crazy strat at you or some sort of crazy build and, you know, really just throw you off your rocker and <laughs> just take the win away from you. Especially if you're not prepared for it. I mean, anything can happen, you know, any kind of cheese rush or etc. Like, there's so many things that make this game so fragile. And that's part of why it's so interesting to watch, because it's very interesting to see how people manage this extreme crisis of something that comes out that they did not plan for. Speaking of interesting, uh, we have Dwango going to be throwing up his reactor. And then we also have Dwango getting a three racks. Uh, this is going to be an interesting... Right, this is a little unorthodox. I mean, usually you'll always want to get your tech lab first. You want to get those upgrades as fast as possible, especially if you're going to be going ma mass bio, which he clearly is. He's building more and more racks here. Oh, it, he did build the factory, but still, like, you want to be getting those those upgrades for your bio units as soon as possible. And going reactor first is pretty unorthodox, and you don't see that a lot, if ever. I mean, yeah, he could be going, I mean, since he's got the, since he's building the tech club as well on the other barracks, he could be doing some sort of building swap, um, but honestly, it just seems like he's pumping out a lot of marines, so I think he's going to be sticking to that bio ball. Absolutely, I would assume, I mean, if anything, he's going to swap this, this tech lab with, uh, with the factory, but again, you still want the other tech lab so you can get your bio upgrades, that's actually so important. Yeah, and we can already tell by the units tab that... You know, Iraq has got a significant force here. He's got 10 uh, Marines going to be pushing out, uh, you know, and luckily Dwango did throw down his bunker, so luckily he's got that there. All he needs to do is just pull off a couple SCVs just to keep on repairing that, and I think it'll be good. Right, Iraq actually did go four barracks off one gas and didn't build a single attachment until he moved this Marine force out. So he really is trying to do an aggressive build here, and if he sees an opportunity where he could possibly end this game quickly and just take the win and walk away with this top eight position, he's definitely going to go for it. But I don't know how this is going to work out against this bunker, 
Yeah, this doesn't look like it's going to be coming in, but he's going to be streaming up his units in there, and they're all going to focus down on that barracks, or that bunker, but unfortunately, he pulls off a lot of SUVs. Are they going to save it? Oh my gosh, they good save it! time to pull. That was a Ooh. very, very good reaction by Duango here. I mean, Man. he pulled just in time to completely crush. He actually killed so many of these Marines. He killed 10 Marines in that engagement. Yeah, and that was actually 500 resources lost for E-Rock. So E-Rock is now very behind, you know, especially in the, the resources, I mean, having lost all of that. And he's going to keep on streaming with uh, all Marines. He's, he's going to be getting his stim up very early. Or at pretty much the same time as uh, Duango, but, you know, it's uh, the fact that Duango is ahead in the technology, you know, he's got a lot of tech going on, whereas, you know, Iraq is going to be going for an expansion build as well, having a lot of Marines. Not sure if this is the correct way of going, because unfortunately, you know, Duango is just now ahead both in food and in tech, so this is just a really dangerous. And we have also that Iraq didn't even get a second gas. I mean, he really wants to end it very quickly. It is, but I, I agree with this expansion just purely because... Uh, he knows that Duango is ahead on tech, and any time you know your opponent is ahead on tech, it's a very bad time to try to tech up to catch up, because you're never going to have time to catch up. So it, it's actually important to increase your economy against this. But we are going to see a drop come right across the ridge here, oh, right in the main. Oh, man. No, he is not prepared for this. All of the Marines are on the bottom, and he drops the Marines, the Marauders, and the Medivacs are just flying oh, overhead. He kills one of the barracks, and here... Oh, there goes the factory, and then the, the barracks is going to be... He's and streaming in those Marines. Oh, that is not terrible, good. Terrible, terrible concave on that for him. Oh, he's losing barracks left and right. Yeah. And wow, it, a huge, huge drop. It's doing so much damage here. Oh, man. The fact that now he's just chilling. He's only lost one unit so far, and he's killed 29. Jeez. Incredible. Let's take a look at the units lost tab. Yeah, that's just rough for him right now he's going to be pushing into the main Ooh, i can't not clean up all the SUVs trying to run away oh and dude he's, work on these supply damn, these he's gonna be oh. e-rock is just flying away in desperation right now uh, duango is just playing superbly right now i mean the fact that he drops into the base and i really that that is, is that is efficiency right there my friend uh, it I mean, was it was superb timing he knew he crushed a major force at the start, and he knew there was no way the e rock could catch up in tech in the next few minutes. So he did a bit of a delay drop, like usually you'll drop when you have two medevacs, but he did a little bit of a delay, got a, an extra medevac, an extra bunch of marauders in here, and just did a sick, sick drop, and all the reinforcements coming into the natural now, and I think this game is actually over. I don't know what he can do to defend. There is a planetary on the natural, but I don't know if it's going to be able to do enough damage to stop all of these units from coming in and cleaning up here. Yeah, he's been t now I believe this is a bad move on Duango trying to attack that fortress with all of those. <laughs> Wait, they're not they're not re- uh, I don't think they were repairing it. Now he realizes that they were <laughs> repairing it. He's like, oh man, we got to get this thing repaired, but I think he just doesn't have gas right now, so he can't repair it. Oh, but Duango is going to be, I guess, inching forward with, uh, his medevacs trying to find a spot to take out Ooh, these. And he found it. Oh, wow. Can you <laughs> believe that? Of marauders in here. This is so, so nice. I that mean, is so beautiful. So ridiculous. He has a pure control over this game. He can do wow. whatever he wants. As long as he doesn't keep losing Marines to the <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he's got to put them on a hold command or something like that. But there's a lot of uh, medevacs overhead. So honestly, I think he, this game is in the bag for him. He's lost. Wing e rock gosh, man, it's su such a sad day for him to come He actually in. built two command centers in his base. He knows that he's so far ahead he's going to be floating these out <laughs> willy-nilly. <laughs> and look how many barracks he's going to be throwing down and an additional factory. Wow. He is, he is definitely very far ahead. And I think, you know, Duango is just like really going to be pushing out this uh, – medic force but unfortunately it just I see the reinforcements of Duango with this one siege tank that has siege oh man right that's e rock is barely mining at this point I mean I don't I don't see a way for him to recover from this I really don't yeah. he's gonna attack in with these SCVs against marauders <laughs> it's always a mistake 
but, but you, you know he's desperate right now. He's not even thinking straight. Yeah, he, can't, he probably cannot believe that he's losing this game right now. He doesn't yeah. want to give up. He's rebuilding in the third here, just trying to get some barracks out of this. It's never going to be enough to stop this. No, and the fact that he's lost so many SCVs. I mean, he's lost. 20 SEVs. To I love this one marine with three health that's gonna kill this bear. I, I yes, I absolutely love it. It's a hero. That's <laughs> that's a gangster right there, man. Three dude. health, and he's just gonna knock. That's this right. Out. He's knock like, dude, an SEV could come up and kill me right now, but I am gonna be definitely taking out this barracks. Ah, oh, and then this one tank is gonna be the hero tank as well, gonna be just taking out this planetary fortress all by its lonesome. I mean, Iraq throws up the GG. Oh man. That is incredible. We have a silver player moving to the round of eight. Big congratulations <laughs> oh to Dwango here for knocking out this game so <laughs> well. Just having such good game sense on when to drop in both of these games. Like, just to catch up and end up winning this whole match. Oh, man. Yeah, definitely. I mean, his timings were good. He knew what build he was going. He knew there was a weakness. And, uh, you know, he had some good scouts in. And he just took it away from E-Rock. Oh. Absolutely superb play by this, this silver player. So he will be moving on. And E-Rock, unfortunately, will not be. Hopefully he will join us in our next season. Yeah, you know, E-Rock did Maybe a... Maybe to try to redeem himself, practice some more refined builds, but we're just going to have to see, man. Yeah, I think he just wasn't prepared for those drops. Those drops are just, you know, something that you have to either know that it's coming, you have to have really good scouts in, and, you know, possibly... I th believed he scanned a couple times, but unfortunately he just didn't wasn't prepared enough for the that big drop because he really wanted to end of that game early. Well, the main issue is yeah he pushed way too hard. What he should have done is scanned at least the high ground or send one marine up to the high ground. Notice there's a bunker there and some marines even behind it. Notice you're not going to break that with ten marines. You just can't. And then pulled back, got his uh, economy further. Maybe even like soft contain where you just poke around with some marines, prevent him from taking his expo until his forces push it, push out. He could have done a lot of stuff there, but instead he just A moved up the ramp and lost his whole entire army at the very beginning of the game. And after that, I mean, it was just just a simple drop timing for Duango to just take this game very easily. Yeah. So that's it for uh, E Rock. Duango is going to be advancing. Um. We just also want to thank our sponsor once again, Nerd Reactor, for writing that article as well as contributing that Jim Rayner figurine. And uh, definitely, will be he'll be moving on. Dwayne will be moving on to the round of eight. And uh, I think that's uh, it for uh, for right now. I think we're going to be moving on to some other games. So we'll check you guys. Indeed. Yep. So cool. you can follow me on Twitter at tr Kaleido. That's right. And also you can follow me also at KS Longshot. So definitely check that out, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.